Hi everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects logo animation tutorial. In this video I am going to show you how to create simple logo animation quickly. Create new composition. I am naming it main comp and going with 1920 by 1080 pixels resolution. Also you can choose your duration and background color too. And click OK. Before we start, go to window. And make sure you enable the line tool and effects and preset window. Alright, let's import our logo into our composition, double click in the project panel or use Ctrl plus I to import. Now select Import as Composition and click Import. Now we imported our logo. If you want to follow along with me, you can download the Illustrator file of the logo and of course project file. Link in the description. Now let's open the logo. You can see I have separated layer for the logo. As icon, text and background. Pre-composed the logo icon and name it logo main. Select move all attributes to new composition setting and click OK. Open logo main. Now select the layer and hit P on your keyboard to show position. Move the timeline indicator around 2 seconds and add a keyframe. Move timeline indicate a few frames backward and make the logo in center like this. Now select the pen tool. Turn off the fill and set stroke width to 48. Unselect from the layer. And start tracing over the icon, just like this. Make sure the stroke covers the icon's path. If not, you can increase the stroke width as you need. We have traced a path, like this we want to cover all paths in the same layer. Select the shape layer and start tracing on other paths. Ok, let's rename the layer into stroke. As you can see I haven't traced over this smaller part of the icon. So let's duplicate the logo icon for later. Now let's animate stroke, open the properties of stroke layer. Here we have three separate shape layer which we traced. Select all layer by holding shift, and go to add. Trim path. Open trim paths property. Move the timeline indicator to 0 seconds, and set end value to 0. Click on the stopwatch to add keyframe. Go to around 20 frames, and set the end value to 100. OK. Select the layer and press U on the keyboard to see all keyframes. Select all keyframes and press F9 on keyboard to easy ease. Let's open the graph editor. Make sure you are using speed graph. Now select the end keyframes, and change to something like this for smooth animation. I am moving little more. Let's preview. Cool. Select the last keyframe and move to one second. Revealing all paths in same time looks boring, so let's offset the keyframe like this for more impressive motion. Let's preview. This looks nice and smooth. 
Let's select the logo icon and change this mode to alpha matte stroke. This will apply the animation of stroke layer to our logo. Cool. Let's add opacity animation for this layer. Move timeline indicator around here, by selecting the layer and hit T on the keyboard opacity. Let's add keyframe, and move few frames backward and set value to zero. OK. Now we want to bring back the icon to its final state, as you know we already added this position at first. Select this keyframes and easy ease by pressing F9. Open graph editor, click this icon to zoom the graph. And let's change the graph like this. This graph will start and end slowly and speed up in the center. You can see there a problem, our duplicated layer is overlapping. This can easily fix by copy and paste logo icons keyframe. Looks great right? Open the logo design green composition. Now we're going to animate the text. Pre-compose the text by Ctrl Shift C. I am naming it Text Pre. Switch to this option and click OK. Open the pre-comp. Move timeline indicator to 3 seconds. Add a keyframe. Move one second backward and increase the value of Y position like this. Select the keyframe and easy ease. Open graph editor and edit like this. Nice. Now let's separate the text layer into each layer. For that duplicate the text 5 times. Let's label all layer by pressing enter key. Ok, now let's mask the layer like this, you can use rectangle tool or pen tool for masking. See, I've separated G as a layer. Like this let's mask all layer. Now let's offset all layer by a frame. Cool. Turn off the stroke and switch on the fill. Select the rectangle and draw a mask on this layer like this. Turn on motion blur for this layers and make sure this option is on. Select the shape layer and change blending mode to stencil alpha. Looks great. Let's add more interesting effect to our logo animation. Duplicate logo main layer two times and offset by a frame like this. and go to effects and preset window and search for fill. Apply fill effects to bottom layer of logo main. Let's change the color to darker green from our logo. For bottom layer, I am going with white color.
Let's trim the lower two layers here to avoid the overlapping. Thank you so much guys for watching and supporting. You can also watch my another tutorials too.